All right, guys, God bless you. Welcome to This Is It, Before the Fire. That's our little victory cheer. Christ's purpose was to make one new man from the two, thus making peace. So this continues the short series. I'm calling it the Y series. Jesus was crucified in the shape of a Y. It represents male energy, the Y chromosome. Um, the system that we're in is 2X, twin female. And so the reconciliation of that system is Christ on the cross. Um, <clears throat> so here's the question today. Why? Why is the Vatican in the shape of a serpent wearing the crown? Or wearing a crown? Why? Why is the Vatican the building? Why was it built to resemble a serpent wearing a crown? That's the question. Okay, here comes the answer. There's an image of the Vatican. It's very obviously a serpent wearing a crown. Over here to the left, I've shown you the same image, but a little bit different angle. Side by side, though, not drawn in. But let's do a zoomed out, straight down image on it, because this is what I was looking at the day the Lord showed me that it was a serpent. This is what I had on my screen on Google Earth, and I heard the Lord tell me, Jonathan, come at a 45 degree angle to the tip of the cross right here. So, so in my spirit, very clearly I heard the Lord tell me while I was on Google Earth, Jonathan, come down at a 45 degree angle to the tip of this cross. So as I did, I came down, I brought the satellite, I came in at that angle, and as I came in at that angle, this entire thing turned into... this. Wow. So that's the Lord showing me exactly what it was. And I just about fell out of my seat when I saw it. I was like, I'm going to quote Isaiah 29, 15 and 16 right now off the top of my head. Go look it up yourselves. Woe unto them who go to great depths to hide their plans from the Lord and their works are in the dark. And they say, who seeth us? Who knoweth us? Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. They turned God's angels upside down. And here is again the Vatican from above. St. Peter's Basilica. The word basilica means royal palace of the basilisk. And a basilisk is a legendary serpent that kills with its breath or with its look. Therefore, the entire grounds you're looking at is named Royal Abode of the Serpent that kills with its breath or with its look. And that's perfect because it literally steals our spirit, our breath. The word spirit is breath. So now let me show you the reason why, because the question is, why is the Vatican built in the shape of a serpent? Wearing a crown. The Bible says the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan. So let me show you that in the Bible, Revelation 12, verse 9 and 12, 8. Let's start at 12, 7. And there was a war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought in his angels. And prevailed not. Neither was there a place found any more in heaven. And that great dragon, the great dragon, was cast out. That old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. Revelation 12. So you know that the dragon is the old serpent and the old serpent is called the devil and Satan. It's all right there. Let me show you St. Peter's Basilica from another view. For those of you that have eyes to see, you can just take a look right here. This is a dragon. There's the eye of the dragon, the eye of the dragon. There's the nose of the dragon. There's the mouth of the dragon. The dragon's wearing a crown. 
So the serpent facing the opposite direction is the dragon. Let me show it to you. I'll isolate it for you. There you go. That's without me doing any drawing on this thing. I can draw it right in. That's a dragon. There's the nose of the dragon. Just look at the alligator coming out of the water. There's the nose of the alligator. There's the nose of the dragon. There's the eye. There's the eye. There's the eye. There's the eye. We're in a crown. And it's coming up out of the water, same as this alligator. The beast rising up out of the sea. There it is. So one view of the Vatican is a serpent wearing a crown. And if you go to the other side, you can see that it's the dragon rising up out of the sea. And then I'll just do a side by side. This is, by the way, this is a supernatural gift that the Lord God gave me to share with you. So it's the gift of sight. Okay, so let's answer the question, why? Why is the Vatican, why is there a building called the Vatican that's built in the shape of a serpent and a dragon? Well, where was the dragon? It used to be in heaven, but it fought with Michael and his angels and the dragon was cast out down into the earth. The building is their headquarters. So, to fully understand the reason why, I'm going to show you three videos. I want you to look at this video. It says full-blown worship of Lucifer at the Catholic Vatican. I want you to look at this guy. Look at him. Look at his face. I want you to look at this guy. Look at his face. I want you to look at this guy. Look at his face. These are three very different people, and they're all singing the same Latin Mass, and they're singing the same thing. Lucifer dawning his own creation. And they have perverted Christ. And they say, Christus filius tus, Jesus your son. They've completely perverted the truth. However, Lucifer dawning his own creation. What do you think the earth is? See, Lucifer got his own kingdom going against the Most High. And you're in it. The earth is it. I'll prove it using the scriptures. Here you go. Pay attention. We're going to watch all three of these. Pay very close attention. In quaternis celestia, humanis divina iunguntu. Oramus ergo te domine, ut cereus iste in honorem tui nominis consecratus, ad noctis uius caliginem destruendam, in deficiens perseveret, et in odorem suavitatis acceptus, supernis luminaribus misceatur, flamas eius, Lucifer matutinus inveniat, ille in quan Lucifer quinescito casum, Christus filius tuus, 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 qui regressus ab ingenis, Humano generis serenus illusit, et ecum vivit et regnat in secula secula. Okay, uh, that was one guy singing in the Vatican, Lucifer, dawning his own creation, uh, because it's true. Genesis 1 is that creation, that formation. Um, here we go. Here's another guy doing the same thing, a uh, different year. So let's watch this. Flamas eius, 
Lucifer matutinus inveniat. Ile in quam Lucifer quinescit ocasum, Christus filius tus, ile in quam Lucifer quinescit ocasum, Christus filius tus, Christus filius tus, qui regressus ab inferis, humano geniri serenus iluxit, et tecum vivit et regnat in secula seculorum. Amen. Okay, there is another one. It's the Vatican. And now, don't forget, every single one of these is being sung in front of a giant dead sheep that's made up of a bunch of angels melting into semen with male and then inverted female reproductive systems. Because Lucifer donning his own creation was creating the male and female host body system. That's why they're sitting there singing inside of a snake and a dragon because the dragon was cast out and his angels with him and this is the system that they created and they lured God's angels into the system to be food for them. Ready? Here's another one. All, I'm showing you three different ones because I want you to sh understand. This is no mistake. This is exactly who they are and what they do. I was born and raised Catholic. And when I got converted, man, everybody turned against me. And it was the most bizarre thing I could even imagine. Here we go. in quam Lucifer quinescit ocasum. Christus filius tus, qui regressus ab inferis, humano generis serenus iluxit, et tecum vivit et regnat in secula seculorum. Okay, so again, now... Let's just nail this thing down perfectly to the wall. So they're singing inside of a serpent. That's what they're singing towards. There's a giant dead sheep. The entire thing is made up of angels. These are all angels coming through the portal. And they're melting into semen. Here is the male reproductive system. There is a penis. And when we turn it upside down, it's female reproductive system. Let me show those to you. So... Here you go. So I've just reduced the size of the sheep. There it is. And I'll drag the male genitalia over there. So there's the penis right here. It's made up by the chair. It's called the chair of St. Peter. Get it? Ever hear people refer to as a penis as a Peter? They're just making fun of us. See, you see all the angels right here? These are a bunch of like little boy angels, by the way. And here's these full grown naked women saying like, come down to us, come to us. So if you pay, if you go and you examine this very closely as I have, there's full grown naked women right here. And they're reaching up towards these little boys saying, come down to us. So anyway, so here the angels are melting into semen. That's a penis. And then if you pay very close attention, you just look at these weird statues over here. There's two guys wearing these ridiculous mitre hats over here. That's because those will become the ovaries of the female reproductive system with the fallopian tubes going right here. So let's just invert the male reproductive system now. Let's invert the whole sheep. So we'll invert the whole sheep. There's the whole sheep inverted right here. This is this is just the sheep, and I've all I've done is invert that same picture, just so you can see. I'll take this picture right here, and I'll go right. I'll take this picture, and I will invert it, and there it is inverted right here. Here's the female reproductive system 
ovary fallopian tube, ovary fallopian tube, uterus cervix, clitoris opening to the vagina. And in this one, it's the same, except they just used all the angels as pubic hair. And now I'll just slide it right over on top of it. And it's a no-brainer. There you go. Let me move my image. There you go. So there you go. So male and female. So you have male and female on this altar. And if you zoom out from this altar, and I just zoom out. I'll take this sheep right here. Here's the window right here. And there it is. Now I'll put the sheep right there. So that's a big bug. Now... There's the insect again, and there's the chair of St. Peter going into the mouth of the insect. This is very important. Now watch. I'll just put it right there, and there it is. So, see, so the insect is eating a sheep. Well, Revelation 9, we know that Satan is the king of the locusts from the pit. So isn't that perfect that there's a giant insect eating sheep? It's perfect. It's absolute perfection because Satan is the king of the insects. Okay, now, by the way, let me just show you the Victoria Police badge in Australia. It's an upside-down star, which represents an angel that's been inverted, and it's an insect coming out of the pit. See it? That's why they're getting so draconian down in, in uh, Australia, because they're taking over. The insect race is taking over. Okay, so now, here we go. So here's the serpent race forming their, forming their uh, original formation. And the earth was without form and void, and the darkness was upon the face of the, and the spirit of Elohim. That's not the Lord God. It does not say the Lord in front of the word God, does it? Elohim, it means of the supreme God. It means gods, plural. Bunch of gods together as one. Moved upon the face as the part that turns. That's what the face, the word face means. The face of the water's semen. Okay, now right down here to Genesis 126 and 127. And Elohim said, let us make man in our image. I'll click on Elohim. Elohim, again, gods of the supreme God. Let us make man in our image. Everybody should know this by now. It means a phantom that is figuratively an illusion, resemblance, since a representative figure, especially an idol. So you know it's not the Lord God. And then in verse 127, so Elohim created man in his own image, a phantom that is figuratively an illusion, resemblance, hence a representative figure, especially an idol. So you know it's not the Lord God. Well, what image is Elohim going to create his thing in? In the image of Elohim created he him. So this is Elohim creating himself into a physical form. Male and female created he them. Well, there it is. There is it's perfect. There's male and turn the male upside down. And there's female. So you're looking at an altar that was built, that was built by the serpent race glorifying Lucifer, dawning his own creation, because that's what Genesis 1 is. Told you so. <laughs> Just get to be blunt. This is all delivered by the Lord God. This is hand-delivered from the Lord God to me, so I can share it with you. That's why they're inside of a snake. That's the reason. Why is the Vatican built in the shape of a snake? Well, there was a war in heaven. Satan and his angels got cast down. The system they formed is the earth. They're in the earth, and they set a host body system trap. The angels that were willing to go with them, we get injected into a host body. We live out our lives with an angel and a demon, one eye up, one eye down. And if you don't get converted, where both eyes become single before you die, you go to the pit and you can become food for a race of insects. And let me prove it to you, because in Revelation 9, they have a king over them. Revelation 9 right here, because this is about to happen. Revelation 9. And there, the locusts were like horses prepared unto battle, and they had crowns of gold on their head. They had faces of men, hair as women. They had teeth like lions, and the sound of their wings was like many horses running into battle. And they had a king over them, and his name is Apollyon, Satan. There you go. Okay, uh, so who's Satan? Satan is the king of... 
the insects. Well, isn't that what I just showed you? What's coming out of the pit in Victoria? What's on the Victoria Police Badge? An insect. So, watch this. So, let's take this insect from the Vatican. Let's put it right there on the Victoria Police Badge. There you go. What's the difference? The answer is there is no difference. It's the same darn thing. So, the Victoria Police are wearing a badge with an insect coming up out of the pit because it's true. Okay, there you go. That's why Lady Gaga at the Oscar Awards, she had a big insect on her dress as well. Not only did she have an insect on the top part, but she had a serpent on the bottom part. So it's all the same. So now it's proven. No doubt about it. It's a done deal. Okay, short video. You want to share this with people? By the way, the name Catholic, the, the name Catholic, it's Cataholicos. Catholic means fully down. Cata holicos here we go and because both eyes are down if you're fully invested and you're one of the serpent race and you're one of the hunters your eyes are both down you're just one of the functioning serpent race if you're one of us and you haven't been converted you got one eye up one eye down and that's what they're hunting they're hunting it inside of you because you got an angel and a demon and you got to get inverted so your eyes become single so here you go catholic Kataholikos, right here. Catholic in Greek. In Greek, which the New Testament is written in Greek. Kataholikos. Kata means down. And then completely holos. Kataholikos. See, there it is. And there you go. And there you go. So, why is the Vatican built in the shape of a serpent? Because... The serpent race runs the world. Satan runs the world. The serpents. What do you think is going on with this stab they want to give everybody? It's time to get all the sheep in line and wipe out the rest of the sheep. And the sheep will either swear allegiance to their the, the one that runs the show, which is Satan here. This is his earth. When I say it's his earth, it's under his dominion. That's why he offered it to Jesus if Jesus would just simply bow down and worship him. He says, I'll give it all to you because it's mine to give, which is true. Now, do you know where you are? Okay. This is a part of the short series. Um, send this to friends. Tell them it's time to wake up. All right. Love you guys. I'll be doing another video tonight, by the way.